This past summer and fall, I left beautiful Los Angeles, California to embark on a two and a half month journey throughout Asia. Whether it was with my friends, my family, or myself, each destination and experience was unforgettable and inspirational in its own way. 10 countries, 27 cities, 17 planes, and countless trains, buses, car rides, and walks. Oh, and a lifetime of memories. And you're coming along with me for the ride. Our fifth destination, Vietnam. Our first stop was Hanoi. We came to the city because I wanted to visit Hai Long Bay, which is about an hour or two away. Our first day, we just did a walking tour of the town. Since we got there just as it closed, we only saw the facades of Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum and Presidential Palace. But after, we stopped at the Temple of Literature, Vietnam's first university built in 1076 dedicated to Confucius. As you can see, many of the stone plaques with student names are preserved today. While it was fun exploring the town, it did get kind of frustrating because even with the map, we got confused on how the streets connected. We asked several people, but they all kept giving us different directions. Also, just be weary. I did be read beforehand that the Vietnamese practice shady business, and while not to generalize this trait to a whole group of people, but from our experience there, we had four encounters with shady business persons. One left me even a little bit scarred. So tip, always ask how much something is before you buy that good or service, and always get an account and change right away. After a lot of confusing directions, we finally arrived at Hua Lo Prison, also known as Hanoi Hilton, a demolished prison turned museum used for political prisoners by the French colonists and US war prisoners by North Vietnam during the Vietnam War. The only thing that really creeped me out was that when you peeked inside the prison cells, you would see figures depicting how the prisoners would have looked like in the cells. <laughs> Our second day, we left for Cat Ball Island, which is a great alternative to Hai Long Bay if you want a cheaper option as it is a less tourist packed area. If I remember correctly, we paid for a round trip fare from our hotel for around 27 USD. This included hotel pickup and bus drive and ferry transfer to the island, and same again going back to Hanoi. <laughs> After dropping our bags at the hotel, we went down to the beautiful beach and hired motorbikers. As we weren't sure how to drive one or where to go, we rented one for 100,000 Vietnamese dongs. The drivers took us to and back from Hospital Cave, a secret bomb-proof hospital built during the American Vietnam War. We were the only ones there when we got there, so it was kind of scary as we were in a cave and it had a really eerie feeling to it, especially knowing it was a secret hospital up in a cave in the mountains. Also, the figurines placed in some of the rooms creeped us out again as we were expecting empty rooms and they felt like live figures ready to pop out at us. Even though we had heard new people come after us, it did scare my friend when they passed us by and made a noise. I only screamed because my friend would constantly scare me on purpose, so when she got scared, I got really scared too. The next day, since my friend was on her period, I got up early to do an excursion around Cat Ball alone. While the flight to Hanoi was a bit pricey, the excursion was well worth it for 15 USD, including lunch. The bay was so beautiful and definitely describes a tropical paradise. We first went canoeing under sea caves, which was pretty cool and something I've always wanted to do. It was a lot harder than I thought, especially when I tried canoeing by myself. Afterwards, we went snorkeling near a secluded private beach off a sea cliff. While the water was too muddy to see any sea creatures, it was still nice chilling by the sand.
though I had to cut the excursion short to make the last trip back to Hanoi, it was still an amazing experience and I'm glad I got to see the natural beauty of Vietnam. From Hanoi, we flew to Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon. It was pouring rain most of the time we were there and we definitely did not have the right attire for it. Also, my luggage broke a little so all the clothes got wet. We stayed at an Airbnb and our neighbor was hammering something because of the rain and ended up breaking our shower tires and water started pouring in from the outside. <laughs> We took a half day tour bus that cost us 13 USD each to the Coochie Tunnels, the underground village Vietnam provincials lived in during the American Vietnam War that started guerrilla warfare. It was really cool actually visiting the site because I remember learning all about the tunnel and the guerrilla soldiers in school when I was younger. I saw firsthand how small the holes in underground village that spanned for miles were and to imagine the local Vietnamese who weren't formally trained lived in tunnels where you had to crawl to get anywhere and set up complicated booby traps and basically outsmart the American soldiers was pretty badass. Even though I've always been kind of resistant against guns, I just had to try to shoot a few bullets which ran for 400,000 Vietnamese dongs for a set of 10 bullets at the site of the Kuchi Tunnels. On our last day, my friend wanted to go to this art gallery she saw listed online. I suggested we walk since we weren't on a tight schedule and I usually preferred walking over driving so I can see more of the city we're in. So we basically walked over an hour in the pouring rain only to find out the art gallery was probably a limited time event and the address listed on the site was just a small one room art library. It was definitely not worth it. We we ended up taking an Uber back to the city to visit a few more sites like the Ben Thanh Market, Maria Man Hindu Temple, Notre Dame Cathedral, and Saigon Central Post Office. We had a little time to kill before going on our dinner cruise that circled the Saigon River that we booked for 25 USD, so we decided to go to the Speakeasy rooftop bar we passed along the way, which was pretty cool. However, we had to down our drinks when we realized we would barely make it before the ship departed. So again, we basically rushed there by foot in the pouring rain. My converse were soaking wet, but we made it. Cheers to Vietnam. Vietnam was so much better than I expected it to be. I loved Vietnam because of the things I got to experience and see, but also I think those enlightening adventure walks with my friend Paula really made this trip memorable. Thanks for joining me in Vietnam! Can you guess where I'm off to next? You'll have to find out next week. Check out my latest travel pictures on Instagram and to see when the next video is up. In the meantime, check out one of my last videos. Bye!